Hi everyone, I'm Kendra Ward and I'm here to talk today about how to feel more at home within yourself. So I realized in my last few videos that I sort of threw out this term, how to feel at home or be at home with, within yourself. So I thought I'd go into a little more detail and discuss three ways in which you might feel like you are more grounded and settled within yourself. So uh, this idea, this term, coming home to yourself, to me represents a sense of grounded contentment with wherever I am in the present moment. So, uh, you know, so much of this is based in what we are making out of our current situation. So you might, from someone else's perspective, be at a place in life where you have, you're surrounded by beauty and ease, but you're plagued with anxiety and fear and desire for something else uh, versus someone who on the surface seems like they have so many challenges, uh, but they are orienting their life towards a sense of gratitude and inner contentment. Um, so just like with so many things, it is what we are making of the situation uh, despite our external circumstances. So this is why uh, traveling is fantastic, um, moving is fantastic, but if we are not really checking in and asking, you know, whether or not we are, we're traveling or moving out of a sense of longing for something else or believing that the grass is always greener. Um, you know, it's important that when we're traveling, we're making sure that we're still internally feeling that sense of contentment and we're not just sort of running away from something. So uh, three things to keep in mind and to uh, touch base with within yourself around this idea of coming home. Um, so the first one is your ethics every day. So this means living according to um, the certain internal values, philosophies, perspective that allows you to feel more uh, content with how you're interacting with others and your community. So, you know, for example, you might be walking down the street and you choose to have an open heart and look the other person in the face and say hello versus looking downwards and being kind of closed off. Um, so, so your ethics around how you're treating each day and how you're embodying and, and living what you believe. Um, number two is communication. So this idea of mindful, nonviolent communication, where we're acknowledging the deep power behind the words that we choose. So the feeling between when you say, I hate this, versus... I really dislike this. You know, it's it kind of feels pretty different. Um, so every day we wake up with an opportunity to choose how we are impacting other people by the words we're using with them. Um, and this is this is a very powerful practice. Not always easy because we have a lot of unconscious pattern behavior, um, but very much worth doing. Um, and it makes you really feel uh, more content and grounded and purposeful when you're able to succeed and be present in how you're talking to others. Um, so number three is your view, your outlook, your perspective. And I feel like this is really aided by a meditation practice, a sitting, standing, walking practice, or some other practice that is based in um, a mindful turning inwards. And this is, you know, in order to do this, it really requires a slowing down. So the, the speed of life um, makes it really, really difficult to feel deeply at home within yourself. We're, we're really being required to seek out purposefully some, some slower time for ourselves uh, in order to reflect and, uh, and to settle in with that sense of contentment. So I hope that this uh, benefits your everyday life and keep those three things in mind, your ethics, your communication, and your outlook in the next few days and see how it feels.